and welcome to Winnie's Grooming Series. This has been long, long requested. Um, if you're not familiar with my dog Winnie, she is a um, purebred Shih Tzu. If you're a die-hard Shih Tzu person, you would call her a Shih Tzu. Um, <laughs> but I just say it the other way. She is just about, she just turned two actually, this a couple weeks ago, so she's two years old. Her coat um, is still growing, but uh, as the dogs mature, their hair grows a lot less quickly. So for the first year, Winnie's hair grew about an inch a month, and now I would say it's about half an inch a month. And her coat goes pretty much to the ground when she's soaking wet. It's still about an inch off the ground when she's dry, and it's in kind of layers. It's not perfectly straight at the bottom. Um, I don't trim her anywhere except for on her paw pads here between her little paws um, and on her um, butt around her bottom because if any of you have a long haired dog you know you have to keep that area pretty hair free otherwise problems arise. <laughs> um, but she's gorgeous. She gets lots and lots of compliments. She is not a show dog. I'm often asked that. Um, I did buy her from a breeder who breeds show dogs, but Winnie, part of the contract when I um, acquired Winnie was that I could not show her and that she had to be um, spayed. And uh, if you're familiar with a show, showing rules, your dog cannot be spayed or neutered to be shown. So Winnie was spayed as any dog would normally be about six months of age, um, and that and that is why she is my dog and not a show dog. Um, she is my first dog ever. My first pet, actually. Um, and my first dog. And I would say that I'm mostly self-taught in her grooming. Um, I did a lot of research before I even picked a Shih Tzu and before I brought Winnie home specifically on um, the breed and on grooming. But most of what I have come to, um, you know, make my own sort of grooming ways to groom um, are sort of, I pull from different places, from books on grooming to um, information from other breeders or Shih Tzu owners and my breeder, um, the vet, um, and other Shih Tzu owners who have long, keep their dog's hair long. Um, so a lot of that, yeah, I pulled from those different avenues and also just by trial and error having a dog and grooming her every day, I've groomed her every day since she was three months old. Um, so it's been a year and a half of everyday grooming um, and when she turned a year and a half I started doing twice daily grooming. So um, basically in the morning uh, which I just finished right now, so she looks all nice and pretty and put together. I do what I call my full grooming, which is basically full brushing um, and thorough um, going through with a comb afterwards, um, you know, cleaning the face, putting up her hair. Thanks, baby. Um, and then I kind of alternate throughout the week. I have a little list up here. I don't think you can see it. Um, on different days, I add in to my full morning grooming session a different grooming component that I don't have to do every day. So for instance, um, let's see, on Mondays I trim her butt, her bottom, you know, I trim around her butt. <laughs> so I, I add that to the normal grooming session every Monday. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays I clean her ears. Um, it's very simple and I did a video all on that as well. On Wednesdays, I trim her paws, and I did do videos on both the trimming of the butt and the paws. And then, it used to be that on Friday I was giving her a bath, um, but I do a full grooming session right before bath, and then I bathe her and blow dry her and put her hair up. But lately I've been doing it Thursday afternoon, so the schedule is flexible, but you can see she's not having something every, I mean like five things on one given day. I like to space it out, so it's not too time consuming for me, and it's not too much for her. And then about every two or three Sundays I clip her nails. Uh, you know, I just trim her, her toenails, and I am um, happy to do it, um, and I've been doing it since she was a baby, and it's very easy for me because she has um, 
clear nails. A lot of dogs have um, black nails and it's really hard to see the quick, but Winnie has... <laughs> Thanks, baby. Winnie has clear nails, so no, we gotta film this. You have to sit down so Mommy can film this. You're fine. I'm not gonna boom you again. Winnie has clear nails, so I can um, trim her quick and it's easy. I mean, <laughs> not trim her quick. I can trim her nails without injuring her, but if you don't feel confident doing any of these things to your dog, then I suggest not doing it and having somebody else do it. Um, since I've been doing all of these things basically since she was a baby, um, I feel pretty comfortable and confident with it. And like I said, it's a, it's a daily or twice daily affair. Now, in the evening, you know, for the past year about, or half a year, I guess it's only, for the past half a year, I suppose, I have been um, adding in a night, like a right before bed, a nighttime, just brushing session. And it generally takes me about 10 minutes, and I just brush her through. Um, it's pretty simple. I don't do the comb, I don't do her face, I don't do her hair. Um, sometimes if she's made like a really big mess of her hair during the day, I'll just take her bow out and put in a, a simple um, top knot. Just so her hair doesn't get in her eyes and face when she's sleeping. Um, because it can create, uh, you know, um, problems for the eyes. But um, that really actually helps cut down a lot on the morning groom time sessions, like on time-wise. Uh, if I, I found that if I brush her at night, because since she's had this very long, Winnie has a very um, kind of fluffy and downy coat, which n mats very easily. Um, so I really have to stay on top of her coat to, to make it more manageable. Um, and I, I do want to add that it is quite time consuming. Depending on what, you know, on any given day, what additional grooming thing I'm adding in, the um, morning grooming session can last anywhere from 20 to 50 minutes. Um, also, depending on how mad she is, there have been times when it's taken me an hour to get through her. Uh, luckily, that doesn't happen every day, but, you know, it depends. Um, especially in the winter when I have her in coats, which tend to mat her up. Um, so, I guess that's that's about all the introductory information I want to give. Um, I did film all of these things basically that I just talked about, as well as her bath. Um, my husband helped me film some things, so thanks to him. Uh, so I'm going to be posting them kind of periodically for the next several weeks, sort of in order of you know, most basic to more in-depth sorts of grooming things. And like I said, I am not at all a professional on any of this stuff, or an expert, or anything. This is my first dog, my first Shih Tzu, my first time grooming anything that's like not myself. And um, I, I really just, practice makes perfect when you have to do something every day for such a long period of time, you just get good at it. And what I say that works for Winnie might not work for you or your dog. Excuse me, or your dog. So, really, it's sort of a trial and error process. But having this kind of information and watching what other people do, especially in the beginning, really helped me kind of figure out my own way with her. So, I figured it would be a nice thing to post, um, and hopefully, people will find it interesting and useful. Um, and the first video I'm going to post is where I show you all of the my favorite grooming tools for Winnie. So you can expect that one coming up next and then the official grooming series will start. So I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more cuteness. How Winnie Becomes Beautiful 101. <laughs> Winnie. 